so let's discuss a problem from thermodynamics so this is related to the topic average coefficient of linear expansion so here is the problem so we know coefficient of linear expansion alpha so based on this so here uh, iron rod of length so on the basis of length so that means change in length because uh, fractional change in length for uh, so this is nothing but fractional change in length so this is the initial length and this is the final length after heating like that after changing temperature of some uh, some rod like that so initially rod would be having l not length and uh, after heating if we raise the temperature uh, because solids expand on heating so its length changes to l so how much change in fractional change in length so this is nothing but fractional change in length so how much length has been changed divided by previous length so and uh, for delta t so how much fractional change in length we could observe for 1 degree rise in temperature so that is nothing but the coefficient of linear expansion so here uh, what we needed to find let us see so an, an iron rod of length 50 centimeter is joined at end to an aluminium rod of length 100 centimeter so here suppose this is an iron rod so it is of 50 centimeter so this is iron 50 centimeter and it is joined to another rod of length uh, whose length is 100 centimeter and uh, it is nothing but aluminium rod so this is iron and this is aluminium rod so in, the, in such a manner the rod is joined so all measurements refer to 20 degree centigrade that means uh, just like uh, so so initially uh, we can we could say that the temperature is 20 degree centigrade initially so the find the length of the composite system at 100 degree centigrade so now uh, this is the condition at 20 degree centigrade so now we are rising the temperature to 100 degree centigrade so if we rise what would happen this iron rod and this aluminium rod both would expand so here you can see and its average coefficient of linear expansion they are saying why they are saying average coefficient of linear expansion because the coefficient of linear expansion of iron and aluminium are so they have given this is the coefficient of linear expansion for iron and this is the coefficient of linear expansion for aluminium so so on this basis so we need to find so iron is a material of its kind and aluminium is a material of its kind so it would be having its own linear co coefficient of linear expansion it depends on the property of the material internal building internal structure atomic uh, arrangement everything like that so uh, its own expansion so here both of them are having different coefficient of linear expansion so on heating this rod so if we heat this rod so this iron would be expanding like this so this aluminium rod also would get expanded something like that so now here what we are needed to find out is length of the composite system so if we expand what is the overall length of this system so how much it is raised and we are, here we are supposed to find average coefficient of linear expansion so this is the separate coefficient of linear expansion so here you can see so this is these both are independent coefficient of linear expansions but as a overall if we expand the entire rod so what is the going to be the coefficient of linear expansion that one we needed to find out in this problem so first thing is the length of the iron rod at 100 degree centigrade so here they have given the formula for length of the iron rod this is derived from the initial formula so that is uh, alpha is equals to l minus l naught by l naught into delta t so this is the definition of a uh, uh, coefficient of linear expansion so if we send this uh, delta t and l naught to that side so what we would get l minus l naught is equals to alpha l naught into delta t so next if we send this l naught to this side and if we take l naught common so 
uh, finally what would we would get is l is equals to l naught into 1 plus alpha delta t so this is the formula so based on this formula so we have got this so initially the length of the iron rod is 50 centimeter l naught that is l naught 1 plus uh, alpha this is nothing but alpha Mm, so this is nothing but alpha and delta t this is nothing but uh, 100 minus 20 so initially it was 20 degree centigrade and now it has been raised to 100 degree centigrade so delta t so if we do calculation of this so if we do calculation of this finally we will get this 50.048 centimeter so this is for L1. So, iron rod, length of iron rod is this, after the expansion. So, after expansion, this is going to be the length of the iron rod, after expansion, if we raise the temperature to 100 degrees centigrade. So, 50 to 50.048 centimeter, it is increased. In the similar fashion, for the aluminium rod also, we need to calculate based on this formula so initially the length of aluminium is 100 centimeter and its coefficient of linear expansion is this and change in temperature that is 20 to 100 degree centigrade we have raised the temperature so 100 minus 20 so we have got uh, finally the coefficient what is the length of the the, the length of the aluminium rod so this is the individual lengths these are the individual lengths so now we need to find alpha for the composite system so the length of the composite system so overall length is this is the final length of the iron rod and this is the final length of the aluminium rod so if we add up them we would get the total length of the composite system so the length of the composite system at 20 degree centigrade is 150 so initially so 50 plus 100 iron 50 aluminium 100 so 50 plus 100 that is nothing but 150 so initially this was the length of the system so the average coefficient of linear expansion of the composite rod is so average coefficient of linear expansion again we need to apply the same formula that is uh, this formula l minus l naught by l naught into delta t so what is the final length minus the final length uh, that is uh, after expansion the length of the system l minus l naught by l naught and uh, into delta t so what is the change in length so initially it was 150 centimeter so 150 centimeter so initially the length was 150 centimeter so after the expansion it has been changed to 150.24 centimeter so difference is nothing but 150.24 minus 150 so 0 0.24 and this is the initial length of the composite system 50 plus 100 and how much we have changed 120 to 100 degree so finally we would get average coefficient of linear expansion so the, this was the thing that was asked so on our on an average both put together iron rod is also expanding aluminium rod is also expanding so both combined together how much they are expanding for fractional change in length overall length for unit rise in temperature so that is the meaning of this coefficient of linear expansion so this is the answer so this is the problem so thank you